Hello YouTube! From a slightly reclined position today, because I feel like I need it. Today I am 17 weeks along, and I can't believe it's already October, and Halloween is next, and then it's bonfire night, and then it's Christmas. Not a lot to report, other than I had my 16 week checkup with my midwife. Everything looks really good, and I got to hear the heartbeat, which is really cool. Um, I'm just kind of sad that no one else could be there but me, but it was so good. And just like when we had the ultrasound, the baby was moving around loads, and she asked me if I had felt it move yet, which I said maybe I had, but I wasn't sure, and I'm still not sure. Um, if I have felt movement, then I haven't noticed. <laughs> but at night, at the moment, when I'm going to sleep and I'm laying really still, I do try and like lay there and kind of see if I can distinguish any movements at all. So far, I'm still clueless, though. <laughs> Ladies, I want to talk boobs. I'm really confused about this. I've always had small boobs. Always. I was distraught as a teenager to be flat chested. And I still am, really. But obviously with being pregnant, there have been some changes and they are kind of a little bit bigger. And I, uh, ironically, just before, or maybe just after I got pregnant, I am... Um, stopped wearing my underwired bras because I was like, you know, I should stop lying to myself. I don't really need that kind of support. It's obvious. But now, you know, there's all these things in my books and stuff about how I should be supporting my boobs and... I, is it necessary? When they're this small still? And like, what kind of support can I get that's not too heavy duty and stuff? I mean, at the moment, this is this green thing is like a yoga top, so that's kind of supportive. Help, please, help. I've had a few freebies f through from various baby clubs that I've signed up to. Um, first one being SM... No, sorry, Cow and Gate. I was about to say SMA, but this is actually Cow and Gate. Um, and uh, they sent me, for some reason, two letters that are exactly the same, and therefore two pregnancy diaries. So, they're kind of like a pocket size. If anyone wants one, it's up for grabs. And I also got something from HIP, which is like HIP Baby Club Organic. They're all to do with like organic food and things. They sent me some really cool stuff. They sent me um, like this little nursery thermometer, like that, which... Um, at the moment it's registering at 24, which is apparently warm and verging on too warm. Okay, so that's going to go up probably in the nursery to be at some point. They sent me a little book of recipes that are really good for you. They sent me a pregnancy diary, which is actually kind of nicer than um, the Cowan Gate one. I prefer it just because it looks nicer. So I might use this one. Um, but, oh no, 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 this has it too. I mean, they all have, like, uh, checklists in the back to say, you know, you should remember this for your hospital bag and, like, this is, remember your birth plan and things, like, a checklist for what to take for the baby. So, yeah. Uh, and a little leaflet on breastfeeding. But this is the thing that I'm really excited about. And this is, like, a little calendar. It's like a little record book, like that. So you get like the first 365 days and it's like on this page you get these stickers like that's those are the months I think that's the that's like milestones that your baby does these are things to do with food and these things the green stickers are to do with family members meeting the baby for the first time and then you've got like um, what follows is like a, a calendar basically and you can stick whatever month it is on and um, and write like the weight and then during the month you can just take those little stickers and like stick them on which I really like I think this is such a good thing I love it I love it so it's like the first real kind of useful thing well not the things aren't useful but you know I I feel like I really will use this I've started to tell other people that I'm pregnant so like my friends and extended family now and so far everyone's been really really um, supportive and really helpful and excited for me which is great I've had a couple of um, of down days 
blue days, just about being pregnant and stuff. Um, just things like, I don't know, just the, just like, it's just really silly stuff, like the fact that, uh, you know, I look at the mirror and I, I now have a, no, no longer have like a defined waistline. And um, I know it's probably, fingers crossed, it's all going to come back after the baby, but it is sad, you know, you, you don't feel sexy when you're kind of just looking a bit fat, which is how I feel. Also had this cold still. I'm getting over it, and I feel a lot better. But it's still like hanging around, which is really um, different for me. Because what well, obviously when I wasn't pregnant, my immune system was super efficient and aggressive, and it I could like shrug colds off in a couple of days. And now this is not the case. I had two colds, and they rolled on, and I can't tell where one began and the other one end or whatever. I'm used to being really quite active and doing things at quite a fast pace, pace. And even people have said to me, you know, wow, for such a tiny person, you walk damn fast, and I do, because um, I like getting things done at a fast pace. I like being productive. But the pregnancy, just like, you can't do any of that stuff, and it's kind of annoying. My stamina is terrible. I get out of breath, doing the simplest things. I'm having to sleep more, and yesterday I got bad backache from standing up too long and I had to sit down for a good few hours to really kind of feel like I was doing okay again. Um, and obviously with the sickness, but oh my god, I can't believe I've forgotten to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, I got through a week without throwing up once. Oh yeah! I think this could be like the the end of my morning sickness. I hope to God it's the end of my morning sickness. I'm so I'm so sick of being sick. I haven't even had like much nausea. Um I had some today, but I think that's just because in the mornings especially if I don't get enough sugar in my system straight away, I I like plummet and I feel kind of sick, but yeah. Um so I'm really pleased about that. Long may it continue. I really want it to continue. It's been so good to get through a week. Yay! Been looking at baby stuff on the internet. There's so much to choose from. I have no idea where to start. Although I looked at baby monitors. If anyone can give me recommendations on baby monitors, then that would be brilliant. Uh, what else? <laughs> I bet there's something I've forgotten. I normally forget something. Thank you to everyone who's like commented, sent me emails, anyone who has um, subscribed, thank you very much. Keep on doing so, because there's going to be more updates coming, as I'm sure you're aware. I really like getting stuff from you guys. It's, it's really interesting to me to hear from other people, so please, any questions, any comments you want to pass along, anything, I'm happy um, to receive it. And you can post comments here, you can... Uh, follow me on Twitter now. Um, I've also got the baby blog where you can see up-to-date photos of the belly and anything that Giovanni and I are writing. There's also a names list now up there of names that we've talked about. You can ask me questions on Formspring. You can um, email me anything. Just to wrap this up right before I measure my belly for you guys. I think I am going to tell you how old I am. I feel I'm ready now, and you guys have seen enough videos of me to really know the kind of girl that I am. I am now 20 years old. I'm 20 and a half. And this baby will be arriving the month before my 21st birthday. It may come as a surprise to some of you, it may not to others. But there you go, there you have it. That's my age, and Giovanni's also 20 years old. Right. So, where's the tape measure? So you can kind of see um, a little bump. There we go. I think. I don't know. I thought I could see a line there the other day, but maybe I can't. Maybe I imagined it. Anyway, so last week I was 28 inches. This week, 
I am 28 and a half. That's quite a bit bigger than last week. Or maybe, I'm, am I doing this right? Is it crooked? No, that is, that is definitely like 28 and a half. I'm getting big so fast. <laughs> Ooh, and feel free to like put in guesses about what you think I'm having. We have major hunches that it's a girl. And I'm hoping it's going to be quite a small baby. <laughs> um, so any guesses about what we're having, how much they'll weigh, if they'll have hair or not, all of that. Do it. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.